Can you eat low? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Switch mine too. No, you're good. <laughs> Try the twin part. Activate. Uh, Jordan Forrest by Hofstra. Coach, if you could begin with an opening statement on the win. Oh, I just uh, can't talk about how proud I am of this team and, and doing something uh, that we've never done, obviously, during my tenure at Hofstra and for Hofstra University. So I can't say enough how, how uh, proud I am. Questions for Coach and the student athletes. Please pass the mic around. Uh, Coach, you only scored 18 points in the second half, but had built up enough of the lead that you still got the win. Is that something you're a little worried about going forward to tomorrow? No, every game in this type of tournament is always a different type of game. So it, uh, you know, it, it'll 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 be a fun day tomorrow. Um, you know, with some good basketball, and you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun show. So uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Coach, number 10 for you has 12 and 16. Uh, I put it. I said it before. She played like a player possessed in the nicest way possible. Just what? How do, how do you how do you explain the type of performance that she put on today? I, at the halftime, I can't, couldn't stop talking about that. And then, like I said, at some point it was 21 to six in the rebound, and she just played with so much passion and so much heart today. Uh, you know, and she she's known she's had you know good success with these guys, and uh, but I just think it's just about her unselfishness, you know, as a player, and, and and what she can you know what she does all the time, you know, she loves defense, but we love it when she scores as well, but uh, to be able to, uh, you know, play so aggressive though, they didn't, they didn't have an answer for her. Krista, how does it feel go going to your first CAA tournament in history of being coached for nine years here? It, it just feels fantastic. It, you know, it, it uh, makes you appreciate, you know, all the coaches out there about how hard, uh, you know, how hard this is. So you certainly want to enjoy the moment because you, uh, you work hard. You have had great teams in the past. We have a few of them here today and in, in the locker room that were really good teams. Uh, this team has been a very special team for me all year long. I, if I haven't said it once to them, I've said it 50 times. I enjoy coaching them. Um, I, you know, they respond. They're growing up on the job training. Uh, but just to, to have, you know, them reach, you know, this pinnacle right now, and we got one, you know, one game to go here. And uh, but I couldn't be more proud and, and been very happy again, like I said, for, for the university and uh, you know, for, for us to represent. You beat JMU once early in the season. What, do you have any like a strategy going into to kind of repeat to do it well, again? Well, I mean, the, the fun part about beating JMU at JMU, which is one of the hardest things to do, um, is that we just played, uh, just had so much fun and just played our game. And we didn't play out of our mind. So it's a good feeling when you know that you didn't play a perfect game, right? You know, in a game that has a lot of mistakes and, you know, and, and it's not a perfect, you know, we're not perfect individuals. So I think that's what makes me feel really good about it because we know that we've, uh, you know, we know we've done it before. We know that, uh, you know, we know their tendencies, but we know they've been there. You know, they've been there a lot. So, but we just have to keep that same mindset about having fun, uh, you know, playing at a tempo that we love to play at and they do too. And, uh, and then so it's just going to be a fun day. So. Ashane, Elo, how do you guys feel about going to the tournament mm -hmm. for the first time as well? Uh, <laughs> Freshman, sophomore. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Like for it be my first year, we're going to the CAA championship. To be able to do something for the university is very, very important. So uh, I'm looking forward to it and giving it my best. Um, it's a great feeling. Like you know, this is the first time ever get to this point mm -hmm. since I've been here and um, it feels good to play in the championship tomorrow which we I think we're gonna do really great at and I'm just gonna come ready to play and give it all I got. How about it only took her one year and it only took her two years? <laughs> <laughs> Coach there's a it's not a simple answer to this but how do you stop Precious Hall tomorrow and huh. Jamie for that matter? No, and I mean, she had, uh, I think she had 22 when she played us last time. It might have been more than that. Sorry, don't quote me. Um, but, uh, you know, look at her today, too. So she, you know, that's what great players do. Um, she was struggling in the second half, but she scored 10 points before I went into the locker room. And I think she was 6 for 22 the day before. Um, you know, great players are going to keep shooting the ball. Same thing I always keep telling Kelly Loftus, you know, same thing like, you know, Crystal, everybody, you know, but, you know, but great players like that are going to keep shooting. So, uh, but I, I think what we did last time, we didn't just focus on her. 
you know, we really didn't. Um, and we, you know, Darius did a great job guarding her. Asia, again, who tonight did a great job defensively. Really, I really had a lot of trust in her on the defensive end. Um, and Asia's a junior, so I know she can help us out a lot. I thought Jaquel did the same thing. So, I mean, we, you know, we got to use a lot of folks on the defensive end and, uh, you know, to, to do that. But we didn't focus on it going into them, you know, because they are, even though she definitely takes the most shots, they still are a team that has a lot of weapons. Coach, as you've said, a different <coughs> player each day stepping up. How exciting right. is it to see each player on the team get a chance to be that star of the team for the day? It is funny. Uh, I was thinking about that today. You know, I, Angie, Angie White, who would go to battle with her any single day, you know, and you know, her, non, her nonverbals don't represent, you know, how she really is. She really gets over things. And, you know, and, and she, she was battling out there and battled really hard with you in the first half. But, you know, struggling a little bit. But that's what makes this team so special. It's like you can kind of – you smile because you know no one's going to – all right, someone's struggling a little bit, that person's going to deal with it, and then everybody else is going to pick it up. And I think that's what makes it, uh, you know, makes it really fun. So we'll have a lot of folks ready to go tomorrow. And, and that's what we did really well down in JMU, was that we had everybody on all cylinders. So, you're, you know, and everybody was, they might not have had their career gains, but everybody was contributing at some point. And I think you're going to see that tomorrow. Time for one more. A question really for all of you. You guys out-rebounded them 30 to 12 in that first half. What was going right for you guys underneath the basket? Um, we were just um, boxing out, and um, we just we we we're like we're very big, so we just like we're going for every rebound, even if we're not getting it. We're just gonna try to get every rebound because that's the way we're gonna be in the game. So that was what we did, just box out. Um, we knew coming to this game that they were gonna be physical with us, especially from the last two games we played with them. So we had to hit them back and be even more aggressive with them. Thank you. I thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. <coughs> How's that knee? Oh, you can. You can take it.